Damn it, you missed all But the question answers. is, if if that staircase is designed for the, let's say, the staff, so to speak, then there's a greater chance we're running into them. That's true, but, they are, but they're not looking for us here. This is more for like, hey, Bob, you need to go to your position on floor six. And he's walking down the stairs and they'll be like, oh, crap. <laughs> Where the other side, he's like, I am looking for the adventurers. They should be in here. Bob did bring up a good point, though. The Bob in my example? Uh, no, about the Acerus <coughs> warnings. They were in the central staircase. Oh, that's, that's a true. good point. Well, it's not that we wouldn't go <laughs> there every time we find the secret spots. I mean, mm -hmm. uh oh. My, my mousey thing just went okay. We so, could take the staircase, the main staircase, down, read the plaque. And then go back up the staircase and be like, okay, we're going now. <laughs> and go back up. Yes. Here we and go. And then take the secret staircase down. Stomp, stomp, stomp. We're leaving. Stomp, <laughs> stomp, stomp. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or maybe half of us go one way and half of us go the other. That's right. We send Bob by himself down the stairwell. The rest of us will go. <laughs> I love it. Can, I love it. can oh, we man. do that thing where we pretend we're walking down the stairs and we're like really scrunching down? <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Where did he go? I didn't know there was a stairway there. <laughs> All right. So I vote. So we got uh, Nimbus says spiral staircase. I say spiral staircase. Bob says uh, main stairwell. Uh, Leon, what's what's yours? I'll make it difficult and say main stairwell. You suck. Nice. So Axel, you're the tiebreaker. <laughs> um, let's take the spiral staircase. All right. <laughs> Snorts, let's take the stairwell, the main stairwell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, we're at an impasse. All right. Not gonna tonight. So Tabaxel, since Tabaxel is the one that knows <coughs> where the, where is a trap finder and stuff, he chose. That's a, that's a sound, sound thing in my mind. Okay, spiral staircase then. Yeah. Si, yeah. senor. All right. Let me set the map up just briefly. And the uh, aid Nimbus Baloo, it gives you ten max hit points. Ten. Oh. All right. Thank you. That is fantastico. So I have 10. Good. I'm already at 10. Um, <laughs> wait. Um, I would like to ask the ghost lantern spirit that is uh, trapped if yeah. she knows uh, which way we should go. Okay. No idea. I'm trapped. Hello, spirit. <laughs> yes. Swirling around. In the I have a question. <laughs> we are descending. <laughs> No, I don't want to shake it. She's a very nice person. <laughs> or thing. Um, uh, uh, spirit. Uh, uh, we're, we're descending, and we want to know, should we go with the spiral staircase or the main staircase? Do you have any feedback? Or And she just sort of shrugs and kind of spins around. And, uh, <laughs> she, says, she has shoulders. I have no clues to offer. I'm not sure what level I was on at any given time. It's hard to see from inside here. What about our spirits inside our heads? Yo, which way do we go? <laughs> yeah, and that's a good point, too. So take a look again at your flaws, if you haven't lately, and uh, make sure that those are... Mine's still the same, so I remember. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So blue, Wonga. Oh. Hit him, and I'll tell you. <laughs> Does Snart even have that still? Yes. All right. So I walk over to Snart and pinch him real hard. Ow! <laughs> Sorry, Snart. <laughs> uh, that'll do for now. Either way, up or down leads to your doom. I well, want that's you to nice. Get to a as fast as possible. We've got some. We've got some uh, unfinished business. Unfin you I don't care. It, Whichever way gets there faster. Okay. Well, uh, do you know any of the dangers ahead? The less dangers we face, the quicker we get to Aserac. Sorry, no. Okay. My guy doesn't know. 
What about my guy? He's a chicken. He should know about all the scary stuff. Uh, let's, let's just stay in the room. <laughs> let's just leave. I like his idea of the leave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nimbus will ask the, the <clears throat> voice in his head. Okay. Dancing with myself. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hmm. Chickens walking down the back stairwell. We should be brave. And go down the main stairwell like we own the place. Mm. Well, that answers the question in my mind. That does <laughs> He does have a point. We should make an entrance. But that let's I walk just... over to I walk over to Nimbus and I put my trunk on his forehead. Like like, are you feeling okay? <laughs> All right, stairwell it is. Let's go. What does that mean? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> spiral staircase, and I start walking down the spiral staircase. All right, or I had my way to there. What's Nimbus tries to keep getting in front of him. What's the marching order? Um, Tabaxel is normally first to check for Snarn traps. first? <laughs> yes, Snarn first. Snarn. Nimbus will be second. Snarn is he's not here, so he's the expendable one. Snarn is typically in the back. And quiet. Biding his time. No, Wait, I'm in the back. Him. Some Snarn's in front of me. I'm kind of protecting him. Okay. <clears throat> so we have the back order. That's because Leon doesn't trust Snarn, so he's Leon, behind Snarn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Leon, Snarn. In the front we uh, have... If Nimbus, if Nimbus Tabaxel, goes short enough, I can just see right over him. It's like Tabaxel, me and Nimbus, and, and Bob in, in no particular you order for those me. three. Well, we need an order, so... I, uh, Bob goes second, usually. I'll go third, and Nimbus could be in the middle, because he can. he's the fastest. Who's first? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> So, Tabaxel, Tabaxel, Nimbus. Because he can check for traps and shit. Yeah, but I can see right over Nimbus if he wants to go first. What saying? All right. I'll, Nimbus runs to the front. All right. <laughs> All right. So, Anyone else want to go in front, too? No, Bob and I like to <laughs> make lots of noise together. Yeah, so Tabaxel, and you're hearing it. Yeah, that's in your head. That's a great idea. Let's get directly in the middle. Yeah. Um, yeah, safety in, in numbers. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, so, in between so Nimbus, all the numbers. Tabaxel, Baloo, Bob, Snarn, Leon. Okay. Let me... No, no, wait, wait, wait! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will make it to the fourth level. And we just did. We, we go... No, oh. we wanted to go up. Yeah, up to the front door. And and out. Yeah, now we're all done. We're, we're nice. done. Where my where my cat is. <laughs> we have to go feed his pussy. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, we've it's carnivorous. We've discovered a dead end. There's a dead end. There are no dead ends. <laughs> well, to Axel. Um, I don't I, believe there is a dead end. Could you check to see if there's actually a dead end? Yes. Mr. Tabaxo, we need you to find a door. It's the not secret. <laughs> okay. Okay. Make an investigation check. <laughs> yep. It, there's definitely a door there. Okay. I'm looking over Nimbus' shoulder and I point. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you guys can't see, see that. It, it does He's not like, you guys can't see trapped. that. <laughs> Do what? Why'd you even call me up here? It's right, right there. Nimbus is gonna okay. just push through the door. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna open this room up here. Yeah. Let me open just the room. Moment. It's fabulous. And there's a beholder in it. Super awesome. But you can't tell because it's invisible again. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh damn. Yeah. So. Uh, what are those things? Yeah, I lose what they are. I hope they're not Lippers. mummies. They're just uh, well, let me tell you, there's some there's some boxed text here. The um, the vaulted chamber that Nimbus just walked into <laughs> features a ten foot deep sunken floor, surrounded by ledges that have no railings. 
Alcoves along the ledges hold painted wooden statues of hornet-headed humanoid warriors. Hornet-headed? Yeah. Each wearing a grass skirt and clutching a spear. A small shaft of light can be seen behind the statue in the northwest of the room. A gruesome throne lashed together of bone and strips of skin stands atop the west ledge. A fearsome horned skull surmounts the throne and small skulls are piled around it. The seat of the throne appears to be made of stretched human skin and has a metal scepter resting on it. Shuffling about the sunken portion of the room are three gaunt humanoid figures in dusty robes draped in cobwebs, their eyes and mouths stitched shut. Armed with brushes and clay pots of pigment, they paint the walls and pillars with grim, poorly rendered illustrations. And this is what they look like. There's a handout for them. Cool nightmare fuel. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not the fellow no painter. Several people who have the stitch shut too. (laughs) Yeah, I was about to say at point they they screwed that one up. His mouth is wide open. Yeah. Oh well. Um there are things painting here. Oh, then we shouldn't have disturbed them. Is it those hands again? No. Just step on them. H- Hello, painters. Can you hear me? Aside, let Bob go. They're blind and deaf. Painter, I think he's talking to somebody. Well, I don't know if they're blind. I don't know, or deaf. Bob. What the hell's going on? He said there's people that are in there. Well, what the? We don't want to fight. I mean, talk to people. We want to kill people. Nimbus is gonna approach the first one over here. Yeah, it growls as you get cr- as you get close. Go ahead and put yourself where you want to be. Okay. You guys gonna <clears> follow <throat> or stay on the in the stairs? No, I'm right about where I want to be. Yeah. Don't growl at me. me. Grr. They're growling. Grr. And uh, yeah, you can see he's painting over like a previous painting. Huh. Says kebab sucks his gut. And, Excuse me, Tabaxel. So let's see what's yep. going on. Go ahead. Yep. And they're like, that's right. Yeah, let a few go before we go. Uh, but we don't want to be left exactly. here alone. Right, right, right. We'll let one more go, I think. Come on, come on, guys. Let's go. Where's my figure? And Bob, you see the same thing. These guys are painting, and it looks like they're painting over uh, a, something they had painted previously. And then even that, you can see beneath it, you know, roughly... <laughs> Uh, something else they painted over. It's kind of hard to see from here Can what, what it is. But. I roll an investigation to kind of see what they're painting. Yeah, yeah. Make a make an investigation check. Ooh, Jesus. Yeah, you got something's in your eye. Some dust. <laughs> they're painting <clears throat> stick figures. Yeah. I believe these are cavemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you get a little closer, you might be able to tell without a roll. Okay, I'm there. here for the painting, not for you. Yeah, he just like you can feel it's like it bristles, and you can see it's like his skin is just sloughing off. He's obviously an undead, and you could just and he's painting um, over like the first painting you see is like the yellow banner company that you guys a, a few of their corpses you've uncovered, and you you, mm-hmm. you got a letter from Lord Brixton and uh, Omu. Um some of their exploits in the dungeon and what he's painting over it is a battle that that your group had with uh tomb guardians oh. he's painting he's painting us leon you gonna join him or are you wow. staying in the stairwell yeah i join now put your, oh. put your token where you want to put it how does he know about us how do i look in the painting <laughs> how do i look um, in and then Nimbus, you see further up, it looks like the battle with the Beholder. He's painting it over the uh, another another painting. son of a bitch. This guy's good. They are painting my exploits. 
And this one growls at you that's close to you and just sort of like drops his brush. Oh, shit. And, this um, isn't going to end well for you, sir. Shish Kebab activates <laughs> his uh, flaming sword and lights it up. All right. We need some light in here. All right, I'm going to... Uh, Bob, could you come over here with me? Does it do There's anything? Thundercat! Ho! And the flaming sword goes on. What was that, Gary? Uh, does your flame... I can't remember. Does that do anything to undead or no? No, it's just uh, bright light for 40 feet and then dim light 40 more. Gotcha. Okay. It's bright light, so if that does something. Yeah. So there's a skull, nasty um, skin-draped throne uh, with a huge skull at the top of it and a scepter basically laying across <laughs> the arms of it. Where is this scepter and skulls? On this On throne. The throne. Oh, I see. Okay. I Nimbus just tries to... Uh, how do you know about us, growling person? They look at you and... Uh, when they're growling, when, they probably don't know. <laughs> when you say that, I mean, it's, it's more of a, like a hum than a growl because their their mouths are so shut. They, they don't seem to be aggressive. <clears throat> hey there. How are you today? Don't provoke, and he starts like, moving his hand in weird gestures. <laughs> Stop it, yes. The one closest to you, um, Bob, he looks at you. Well, I mean, he <laughs> turns his head towards you, right? And uh, he dips into like another jar of pigment and you see a, an image of yourself fighting the uh, beholder and then he like draws flames on you oh good work good work guys he draws flames on bob yeah put him out bob like the flaming sword or mm -mm. like there's like it's a crude image of you fighting the beholder and then after he like peered at you he like on the image he drew like you're on fire the image was on fire <laughs> and Bob starts looking at his armor. He's like, "This armor's not that tight." He burns you. <laughs> oh! Now you said something about this statue up here. Can I check it out? Yeah. So there's um, basically a shaft of light that pokes through behind there. Can I try to check it out? See where it's coming from, or can Absolutely. I see through it? Or make an investigation check? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, Don't worry, Dark Elf. I got your back. Thanks. That's why I was coming up here with you. I wanted you to come with me. I wasn't coming up here alone. Stand back, we're a catch monster. Yeah, hold him there. Don't 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 go away. Stay there. <laughs> okay. Uh, you I think see he was talking about you behind the statue. <laughs> <laughs> a uh, a a secret entrance way to another room. Hello. Uh, Bob, there's a door back here or something. <clears throat> Just saying. Oh, it's nice. Anything in there? He starts peeking around. Yeah, go ahead. Take a look. Ooh. It's got an S on it and everything. <laughs> it's a super door. Wait, where are you going? <clears throat> yeah, you can kind of like move the statue, kind of like rock it out if you want to try to. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, can I you know, should I check for pressure plates under it before you start? <laughs> so Bob walks through the uh, door. <laughs> I was just using the I'll, I'll What are you guys doing the, over there? <laughs> I'm looking down into the door below. How, how far down is this? Is is it like uh, ten feet down? Oh. So Bob walks through the door and he sees uh, the walls of this room are adorned with tile mosaics of a jungle city intermingled with Ooh. frescoes of flowering plants, birds, insects, and humans wearing gold skirts and carrying spears and ornate jugs. Uh, the ceiling is painted okay. to look like a clear blue sky. A small bejeweled cockroach rests atop a sarcophagus of black basalt in the middle of the room. A two-foot diameter orb hanging from the chain above the sarcophagus is made of hammered gold to resemble a smiling sun. 
the name Napaka is etched in common on the lid. In common? Yeah. <clears throat> Do I know anything about that name? I don't know about you guys, but this is where the fresh kiss is. You got a bunch of women with jugs. Yeah, it's a National Geographic book in here, mm-hmm. man. <laughs> and um, you say, what the, did you guys find? <laughs> a golden sun and bejeweled beetle, and it's going to start prying, prying it so out. So, Tabaxel, or, make a uh, history check. You asked about the name Napaka. I will try. Ugh. Just kebab will start trying to pry and get him, give okay. him some of that beetle. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, really bad. I had a plus nine on that. Jesus. Mm. Nimbus is going to head up towards where they are. Mr. Blue, come with us. But what about down here? I was waiting my turn so I could say, ask what, what what do I see down in the pit oh. area. Okay, hang on, two shakes here. He's checking out my history. You see razor blades and chainsaws. <laughs> Those are my favorite things. Oh damn! It's like the room was made for you. Go sit <laughs> in that chair. It is my room. <laughs> I don't like it when Gary's quiet this long. Mm-hmm. When yeah, I don't hear the squeaking door. Hold on. I read this earlier, but now I'm confused. <laughs> Top of the sarcophagus. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you take the, sarco- the bejeweled cockroach and uh, you pick it up and nothing happens. It's a... Uh, it's it's ornate. It's beautiful for a cockroach, <laughs> made of gold and jewels. Wow! Uh, you imagine it's a beautiful it's cock. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll gonna... go ahead and hold on to the fit. Yeah, of course you will. Yes, we know. <clears throat> yes, great job. <laughs> oh, no. It's worth a thousand gold pieces. Hey guys, what's down here? I'm not writing that in Party Treasure, by the way. You're keeping track of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I got the peridot and the diamond and the pearl. It looks diamond. like a giant pit. What do you think's down there? Do I see anything down there? So in the pit, uh, no, it's it's basically just more floor. There are four columns that you see, and it just looks like dusty, dirty floor. Okay. There's no like alcove underneath there, so if I go down there, it does I don't see like anything underneath. No. It's just, just walls. Exactly walls. Okay. Throw one of the zombies down to make sure I don't I don't really want one to do that. One of the zombies that. tries to protest but cannot. <laughs> I mean it's up to you, I'm just saying. It draws an angry picture. <laughs> so, yes. A frown face. It draws emoji. blue with an even gianter butt. It just drew a middle finger. What a jerk. Um, so there's so a... What is over there? Little, the cockroach? This, what the fuck? Yeah. So there's a little uh, jewelry cockroach, and then there's a sun, you said? Yeah, yeah there's, there's, hammer and bowls, a, chandelier. there's a sarcophagus made of black basalt. Uh, I'm, I think I'm saying that right. Mm, salt. Um, in the middle of the room. And hanging from a chain above the sarcophagus is a two-foot diameter orb. Hmm. It's made of hammered gold, and it resembles a sun that's smiling, like a, a smiling sun. Ooh. And the name Napaka is, is etched into the lid of the sarcophagus. Who's Napaka? My 13 didn't know. get anything from that. Okay. Uh, so the- you, it's, it rings a bell. It sounds like an, yeah. uh, like an, like an older Cholten name, but you're... You, it, you maybe heard it from Waxanare, but you're not sure. I gotcha. Might be royalty, but you don't you don't know. Okay. Start seeing if I can get that that sun medallion thing. Say that again. The sun medallion thing hanging from the chain, that orb. Okay. What about it? Let's see if I can stick it in my I'm going to go over and poke one of the zombies. 
Take it in my pack. All right, mm. so two things happen. Um, the sun, when you, when you touch the thing, the, you see the smiling sun, the smile turns to a frown. Oh, no. Yeah. And let's everyone roll initiative. Sure, I'm going to think I did it. I touched the thingy. <laughs> I, I go over, I touch the zombie, and he's like, it's like, oh, look, we're all initiative. <laughs> and uh-huh. <laughs> Baloo, when, I'm sorry, this is fucking hilarious to me. But when Blue touches the zombie, a, the floor erupts uh, in the bottom part, uh-huh. and a huge creature emerges. And you've seen one of these before. I immediately put my hands down like I didn't touch nothing and be like <laughs> Um you yeah, guys oh. And uh Oh it's one of those things. An yeah, undead Tyrannosaurus Rex zombie appears again. Those things are so fucking awesome. It those works. are literally the so far this is the that's the best monster we've run into. Yeah, I like them. And uh you see blood and viscera dripping off of him. Let me roll initiative for him. Okay, and Bob to the north. It's the sun frowns, and it begins to get really hot in that room. Um, okay. Well, Bob's like a reptile or something, isn't he? Probably likes it. <laughs> <laughs> the T-Rex zombie stomps over to Baloo, climbs up. Oh, goes here. before I do. Oh wow, it goes faster than all of us. Yeah, I've never rolled it. Uh, it climbs know. up there. Wait, I didn't do snar. <laughs> How does it climb up the stairs that are five foot wide? He's a, he can I think it just steps up on the ledge. I figured he would just bite me from down below. Mm-hmm. Nah, he wants to get at you. Because there's a column right here, too. So he's like... He comes in, he tries to uh, multi-attack you. That's what he does. No. Actually, <laughs> no, he a, can't. As a bonus action. He horks out a zombie. Fucker. Fucking zombie. You know what this means? This means war. They should put in their multi-attack, bite 10 feet, arms two and a half. (laughs) 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 Black. He horks out a zombie. As a bonus action. With any multi-attacks. Actually, he's going to... So the bite is for blue. The tail is for Snarn. Snarn will appreciate some tail. 17. Yep. For, for, for me? Yep. Misses. And Snarn is hit. 21 bludgeon. Well, will a shield save him? Because uh, it's close. It's not your turn anymore. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. It's your no, reaction. Snarn, snarn. Reactions shield. Um, I don't, again, I don't, I don't know what his AC is, so it gives him plus five to his AC. And I know he has it, so. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay. Yes. Good point. Okay. So, Snarn blocks it. And, uh,. That is it. Baloo, you are up. I am up. So, I, uh, I, uh, I shove this. Actually, Bob, well, no, go ahead. For some reason, it switched orders. But that's okay. Well, you can let Bob go first if he wants. How uh, deep is the pit? It had, it had you first, so I'll just do Bob a seven. Okay. So, go ahead, Baloo. So, I'm going to run... Move over to here and shove the zombie out of the way into the pit if I have to, <laughs> just because he's in my way. And then I'm going to do a uh, turn undead. Okay, so shove is an t- is an action. It's an, it's, it's an well, it's not. I'm just moving, trying to move by him. You can't. You can't move through his space. Well, then fine. I will make him <laughs> jump by turning undead. Okay. Boom. 
So everyone can make a DC. Anybody that's undead can make a DC 17 uh, wisdom saving throw or run away like a little girl. All right, wisdom. All right, so he does jump off. Well, on his turn, right? Wait. Yeah, Dude, yeah. Isn't the zombie undead? So would that have to do so you can't everything? Move, you still can't move through his space. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. And he is a he's a quarter. So yeah, he goes poof. He's a dead. Poof. I kill anything that's one hit dice or lower. They're not painting no more. And then uh, we'll do the zombie that just got horked out next. Wisdom. Oof, dead. Oof. I'm sorry. When I'm scared, I, I, I turn undead. <laughs> dead. Dro they're just like ksh, dropping. They just turn to dust. Poof. Divine radiance comes from me and my holy symbol, and they a aura of light shines from me, and it, they're like ah poof. Yeah, dropping to a pile of dust. Dust. It's just like. Um. Okay. Zombie T Rex. Come on, Zombo. Oops. Sorry. God damn it. <laughs> he rolls a one for initiative. <laughs> Ooh, fails it. Oh, he failed. He won a crit, too. Mm. Nice. Okay. So he is scared of you. Dash, dash action. Okay. On his turn. Okay. Oh, like great. He's coming closer to me. <laughs> Would you like to move anywhere? Um, can I move now that people have dashed? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I move over. Um, you'll have to like pull your shirt up over your nose, or you'll breathe. Let's see, right here. It'll be very irritating. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna move over to here. Oh, let's say you get an opportunity attack when he runs away. Oh, that's true. But then you're yeah, but then I'm driving them over to you guys. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to really drive them over to you guys. I was trying to trick him for you, Gary. So can he yeah. take the attack of opportunity? There's nothing that prevents reactions, right? Uh, he's scared of me. I don't know uh, if he failed to save. I technically he's scared. You can, uh, whether you want to or not, that's fine. You must spend his turn. And it can't, it can't, yeah, it can't I mean, take technically reactions. It, it also can't take reactions. Okay. Perfect. Before it's actually can only use dash or try to nice. escape. There we go. So I will move over to here to make it. And hopefully snar Snarn, move north. Uh, 10, 20, 30. Actually, here, right? 10, 20, 30. Yep, that's where I am. Okay. I am done. Okay. Bob, you're up. If you attack it, oh. it will not be scared anymore. Ah. Uh, so the light is going so, off, and he's yeah. like, "So it lights like, up, ah. and, he, and he gets Wait. hot." So if you start your turn. You take. This much fire damage, ten fire damage, all the fire damage. You took Ooh. all of it. Uh, I was about to say, I'm about to do absorb elements, but no, I'll just take it. Um, so there's bright things going off, and he's like starting to one hand or shield covering his face, and he's like reaching out, pulling back, reaching out, pulling back. No, ow, ow. And so he's like really trying to get it. Uh, I want it in he my pockets. And, and he's like screaming outside. He's like, oh, I really want it. But then he starts heading out. One, two, three. By the holy hand of Torm. I mean, you, could, you could certainly try to attack it, or I mean, it's up to you. And okay, so he will, like you said, try to reach up for it, and then he hears the screaming outside, 
then he runs around the sarcophagus and then he's like looking out the door looking back looking out the door and he like takes his sword and tries to like swing at the chains holding it see if he can knock it off okay cut it off (laughs) make a make an attack roll with the sword and he's and he's screaming I'm coming as fast as I can, but he's getting the, he's actually trying to get the <laughs> necklace. Yeah. The patty face sun is burning you to crisps. <laughs> okay. 20. All right. It is, however, so, immune to fire damage. So, oh, you do 11 hits, slashing and it's, it takes a 11 slashing and you put a huge dent in the sun. Like, skips off the chain and like dents the sun and the smile, the frown, you can only see half of it. And, uh, the, the, the blaze is still going in the room, but you can tell it's, it's damaged. Oh, so he like starts taking a walk out the door and he sees it's part way broken. He's like, Ooh. <laughs> so he turns back and he gets ready for another hit. Oh yeah. I have two attacks. I forgot. Okay. 16. All right. 16 hits. Yes. And that's it. Seven. Seven slashing. Okay. Yeah. You uh, you knock it free to the ground. You dent it, and the, the fire disperses. It goes out. He'll try and pick it up and then get ready to head out. Okay. I'm coming. Big room. Can't make it out. All right. But that's my full movement, so. Okay. Bob runs out. It looks like with a golden football, and he does like the Heisman <laughs> pose. <laughs> and I think that's Bob's move. Yep. Leon. Okay, Leon tosses a hunter's mark on the thing. And I did, I did yell out, if you shoot it, it will no longer be feared. Well, we want to kill it, right? Well, maybe when everybody's ready, I guess. Wait, That's is that so? Question. If you shoot a turned creature, does it is it no longer correct? Turned? Yeah, until it's damaged. Well, it might not be so if it doesn't come from it me. Takes any damage, I say. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So yeah. So okay. So what's the plan then? Well, that's the thing we need to decide. I think there's Throw a door over it. here. <laughs> I mean, ideally, we could just leave. leave oh, grab here. that scepter for me. So the plan is to leave, right? <laughs> yeah, we can leave. I mean, is that a yes? I don't know. Hold, well, Bob, hold Bob's your action. in the room with a sarcophagus. It doesn't. It didn't have the same sort of imagery as any of the nine trickster gods, uh, but it, it, it itself has yet to be explored. We can watch the T Rex run from one side. Ah! Turn around, walk to the other side. Ah! Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ah! run around in a circle and make it run around in a circle too. So I throw a hunter's <laughs> mark on it and I pull back my bow and yell, "What's the plan? Are we killing this or not?" I don't, I don't know. I just made it stop attacking me. <laughs> if we want to kill it, we can kill it, but it will start attacking us. I can't. Leon, I can't destroy it. It's too big for me to destroy. Leon launches two arrows at. <laughs> All right. I fucking. Shoot. Could you wait until after it moves away from me? That would be. Oh, I'm away from it, so it's fine. Uh, Whatever. A couple of twenty sevens just hit. <laughs> Leon's cheating. He's using the same right. die. Give us some range <laughs> math there. That was cut and pasted. Um. Thank you. Ooh. There you go. What's that for? Yeah. Dunk, dunk. So, my my question about Colossus, I keep, I keep forgetting, is uh, if he's previously damaged, I get Colossus. So, does that count if the first attack damages him? I can get a Colossus, or? I would imagine. Yeah, I it's think a second so. separate so. attack. Yeah. So at eight thirty-eight. Okay. Yeah, why not? Makes sense. Finally, an eight on that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah! Oh wow! Look at that! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I always make fun of that too. It's always been like it's always been like under four. <laughs> um. Okay. Done. Excellent. 
Okay. Uh, I guess if we're attacking it, I'll shoot it. But uh, I'm not going to do a whole hell of a lot. So I'll short bow it. Okay. You hit. Oh. Ooh. You, sm you smell funny. And, uh... Uh... You get advantage on move, your... But... Hit. I do? It's frightened. Oh. Right, okay. is it... It's, it's, we it's get not advantage? anymore. No, it's right. Right. Oh. as soon as it takes damage. Yeah. So technically, he got advantage on his first attack. Of, uh, Leon got advantage on his it's first attack. It's only frightened of blue. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I am done. Oh, that's it. I need to get some arrows, man. It doesn't actually say it's frightened in the turn I did. Oh, never mind. Attacks against the creature isn't doesn't matter. It's just when the creature attacks. Yeah. Okay. You good then? Yep. All set. Snarn will. Fireball. Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hit. That's his turn. Zombie. Oh, you you don't belong there. You're dead. Nimbus Snow. That's a lot of lines. All right. So Nimbus is going to. Wait a minute. What? No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I removed the zombie on accident. Oh, God damn it. Why doesn't it ever work when I hit the Q? <laughs> you gotta hold it down. God damn it! <laughs> I stopped trying. I did it like three fucking seconds ago. I just don't do it anymore. I just don't try. I just like I get All right. Easy. All right. So I'm gonna go here, which is I believe twenty five or thirty. Hold on one second. It's a conspiracy, Gary. It just All right. Want. So that's. 30 or 32 and then um eight. all right so that's 40 you can get there all right <laughs> after all that <laughs> nimbus is just like <laughs> runs up to this thing with his staff of striking mm -hmm. mm. and he's gonna drop two charges as well uh, so that's uh, three and the ten, eleven. Uh, that's twenty-seven. And I'm gonna spend a key point for stunning strike. So he has to um, uh, succeed on a Constitution saving throw. What is the DC? Uh, 72. 15. <laughs> he is done. Awesome. So <laughs> Nimbus is, was like gonna start punching him, but he's just like throws up his hands. He's stunned. You guys can can do this. I'll uh, I'm using my bonus action to uh, to step away. <laughs> All right. It's the zombie T-Rex's turn. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> he's stunned he can do nothing blue this is how it went with the uh, beholder too by the way yep. I think your attack was like right before his or close enough anyway. I'm going to since he is stunned I get advantage on attacks mm -hmm. I shall what do I get for that what day six yeah sure Oh, nah. Uh, yeah. Why not? Let's hit him. Some, let's, let, let's hit him hard. I want to hit him hard. All right. We're going to go with a fourth fourth level advantage. Oh, I thought I can raise that. Can I raise the other cutting bolt up a level? Yeah, when you spell using a spell slot of second or higher. 
All right, maybe it'll set. Now it's asking me. Okay, fourth level guiding bolt with advantage. 17s. You hit. <laughs> so that advantage worked really well. <laughs> uh, it gets 32 radiant damage. Also, everyone gets advantage on him, too. Or what is guiding bolt? Is that... uh, it doesn't matter. It's stunned. But he gets the okay. next attack against him gets a. Gotcha. Cool. Uh, yeah, he looks rough. Well, I mean, he's undead zombie. So, body rough. Rough. The fire is <laughs> yeah, going he, out in the room. He always looked rough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the fire is going out in the room. And before you, sits a jet black sarcophagus. I'm coming. And how far is it down? The It's all the way down. 10, 15? 10. All right. Okay. He jumps down. No, wait. So he comes out and he gets about, eh, there. Look, waypoints. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to double move. So uh, 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 you see this guy in heavy plate, just kind of like <laughs> so that guy in a little coat and his little arms tucked in. He's like, uh, 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 coming I'm coming. Fat guy, little coat. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets about there. Well, he's going to kind of sidestep. Uh. All right. And then he makes it to the pole and he just kind of leans up. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> All right. I got it. Leon, you know, <laughs> a can of tuna just ran by you. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to take a couple more shots at it. Mm-mm. Oh, advantage. So, yes. You kill him. You re kill him. Cool. That's what the term is. <laughs> it's good, Bob. It you falls to the ground. You dead the, the undead. Bob puts his hands on his knees. <sighs> yeah, Bob, what the like, fuck took you so long? <laughs> crumbles to the ground, falls back through the hole from which he burst, and that is that. It, it's a tight fit in the into the room. <sighs> sure, do you want just, you weren't just stuffing your pockets again? <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> what caused the T Rex to appear? Bob. Bob. <laughs> I did. As I look look off to the side, Bob. <laughs> Bob, seriously. How's the bright light in that room make the T Rex appear? It must have triggered it. That doesn't make sense. It's gotta be something out here. I mean, what kind of defense is that? I don't, I don't know. Did anybody take the thing that was on the throne that Tabax was drooling over? Yeah, I, was, I want to look at that, too. It's still there. Yeah, I want to check the floor and the chair and make sure there's no traps here first. Bob okay. is pointing. Yes, let's let's check that out. So the what throne is, is a, it's, it's a made from skin, small skulls piled around it, and a, a larger skull at the top of the throne appears to be that of a minotaur. That throne is absolutely hideous. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty cool looking. <sighs> All right. Uh, what's the scepter look like? Uh, the scepter is made of, it looks like a solid iron with an adamantine head. Uh, it looks like it's hefty. Oh. It could be probably wielded as a mace. Ooh. Damn. What do you think that can does? Anyone, I have a purse. Uh, can anyone see if it's magic or cursed without expending any energy? I do not have the tech magic. Bob usually detects magic. I, if you give me a few minutes, I think I was seeing something in this book. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's on like on uh, page twenty six or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Toss it here. Let's try. <laughs> he is going to steal that. I am just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can do take detect magic as a ritual. Okay, the scepter is non magical. Uh, this thing's a piece of crap. <laughs> Uh, the throne is magical. And the skull, they appear to emanate the same sort of magic. None? What kind of magic? <laughs> they, they both emanate the same kind of non-magic. <laughs> right. Um, enchantment. Ooh, they were enchanted. Huh. I bet if you pick up the scepter, they all come to life and come after you. Or they animate. They fly around the room. All what? All the statues? All the skulls. The skulls are all enchanted. The skulls are enchanted or the throne's enchanted? The skulls are enchanted. Which uh, skulls? All the skulls around the throne. There's skulls around the room? They're small. They the look throne. like they might have been from children. Oh, that's oh, lovely. Gross. I, I love children. No, uh, does my, I don't think does you my, love children's skulls. <laughs> does yummy. my guy in my head know anything about this? Um, I, I wouldn't touch any of that. Yes. Yeah. Don't. Yeah, he makes a good point. That means we should totally touch it. Yeah, go ahead. Wait. No. No. Go get it. <laughs> what are the are the zombies drawing anything? They're dead. dead. Didn't you kill them? <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> Rubbing in. All right. There's a door over here if we want to go that way. Sometimes I wet my torn pants. <laughs> it's far too much information. So. Did, you, did Bob ever open up the sarcophagus or... <laughs> no. He has it Not under his yet. arm. No, I have the jewel that was hanging above it. The oh. orb. Uh, orb that says napkin. A dented football made of gold. Mm. It's dented? <laughs> was it always dented? <laughs> he smacked it with a sword. No, he hit it. <laughs> Why is Bob mm. trying to figure out the traps? I thought the Baxa was the trap expert. Is it still frowning? <laughs> no, Bob. His, tongue, his tongue is hanging out. Uh, Wait, Bob, you didn't. Used to be. He didn't Bob. take. He didn't open the the coffin. Not yet. <laughs> I'm just surprised. <laughs> there are so many shiny things around. <laughs> Haven't gotten in there yet. Mm. And he's shiny try things inside the coffin. Lift the coffin. Okay, make a strength check. Athletics, sorry, athletics. Uh, uh, mm. You it you could tell that it can be moved, but can't this be thing moved. in here weighs a few tons. Let's get some arms and get some help. I go in. What's going on? Oh, big guy. I think Why we are might making all these weird you, noises. Blue. We might need more than you, Baloo. Then what? For what? <laughs> this thing is really heavy. What is it? The lid, sarcophagus. Oh, just walk over and open it. it I walk over and open it. Really heavy. Make an athletics <laughs> check. Uh, I've been in here trying to get it, loosening it up. And remember, I have uh, I can lift X amount of extra or whatever. Mm -hmm. My looks at advantage on saving throws being. Oh, no, that's not it. Powerful build. You count as one size larger when determining your carrying capacity and weight. You can push, drag, or lift. Okay. Um, so I might modify yeah, my roll a little you bit. You try to shove it and it still doesn't. You could, you, 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 you lift it up more than Bob does, but you still can't push it over. Yeah, Is that snar and you want to help? <laughs> <laughs> Star, um, Star walks in and lifts it right up. N oh, Nimbus, no, will, talking about. Yeah. Nimbus will go okay. in and help. 
All right, Snarn and Nimbus. Uh, yeah. S- All right, what does Snarn have? The Dream Team. <laughs> the Dream Team. Snarn. What are we rolling? Let me check real quick. He has a strength of six. Well, we probably have to figure out the puzzle to do to open it. <laughs> so Snarn can assist Nimbus. All right. So roll with advantage. Strength, athletics. Athletics. Uh, Ooh! It smashes against the wall and shatters into a million pieces. And Nimbus does like a Hulk Hogan, like (laughs) (laughs) starts like pushing Snarn. I nudge, I nudge Bob, and I'm like, "We losing, we we losing, yeah, (laughs) yes." Where's the Iron Sheik? (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Oh, man, throwback. Um, so the sarcophagus contains uh, a well-preserved, uh, what, what appears to be some sort of a royal cholton and beautiful robes. Uh, in fact, the robes themselves are less preserved than the person. A black gown, a hornet mask made of painted gold. And the corpse's left hand is an iron scepter. It looks exactly like the one that's on the throne. Someone tell if if this is magical. Lying next to her Oh, sorry. It, no, you're good. Is a cockroach shaped jewelry box beset with gems. Very cool. Yeah. This matches just like the, uh, um, I mean, wow, what a nice jewelry box. <laughs> right. And no, Bob, Bob no, no. Let's check it for traps. He start. He reaches for the jewelry box. All right. Bob, share with others, please. Okay. All right. All right. Gather around, I'll do it again. Um dig it dig it dum dig it do da Okay. He's gonna yeah, take um, ten minutes to a ritual of uh, waving his arms at around. Okay. Uh so this scepter is magical. Ha <laughs> this one's much better than y'all scrappy scepter. <laughs> uh as is uh, not the jewelry box itself, but uh, you detect magic within it. Oh, something magic in it. Well, let's Anybody uh, care to open it? Do I sure, I'll open it if you want me to. <laughs> Can I tell, is it like evocation? Like, will it blow up or is it something else? Uh, it is evocation. Oh, Snarn! <laughs> a bag's full of magic items there, Bob. Wait, wait, wait. I think this I think something might blow up. Sweet. Hey. What? Drow, drow, come on. Got something for you to look at. I'm sorry? Check he this has a name. I mean, like, it's been a while and there's no uh, reason. Yeah. <laughs> Bob. I mean. Uh, snake boy. Yeah, hey, no. snake boy. <laughs> that would be disrespectful if we just said that. <laughs> what do you what do you want from me? Texas for traps. Please, please, sir. Carefully. Now it, it, might, it might blow up. <laughs> please now. <laughs> it might blow mm. up. Take this, it might blow okay, up. Okay, everyone step back. Not As we all lean over his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, I reach over and I open it. <laughs> oh god. Okay, right, you I'll open it, it <laughs> while oh, no. Axel is, is like cracking his knuckles, getting ready to it's taking too long. Investigate. Uh, uh, nothing happens. Uh, inside, see? you see, you see. Oh. Um, I lost my place. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you there see, <laughs> you see a small um, jade key shaped like a crocodile. Oh, crocodile and key. See you later, alligator. You see a necklace that has eight beads on it. And the beads are like the the size of a marble. And um, the beads themselves, they look like 
They're like shimmering, almost like a fiery red. Like are they f- like? Are they? Do they look forceful? Uh, no. <laughs> How they look, is that? They look like little balls of. It looks like like a fire, like an inferno inside each of the. Oh, the nice. Mm. I know what that is. Keep it to yourself. Mm-hmm. No, so what it looks like the balls of fire. I know. So what, what all do I see is magical with the thirty feet aura that I have? The necklace. The necklace and the scepter. And the scepter, right? Okay. I'm taking the key. Okay, Jade, yeah. you are the key. Man. You are the key. Okay. So you want to take a, a break for a few minutes? I can do another ritual, find out something on the scepter or the necklace. I don't know okay. how long it would take. We'll do that. Sure. I'll be right back to you. Because I don't know what they do. Take a quick bio break. I think I think he meant... <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Gary's like, sure, we can take a break. <laughs> he meant that in character, Gary. Gary's like, listen, I gotta pee. I'm taking any chance I can goddamn get. <laughs> I'm about to burst. That's funny. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we All defeated right. that goddamn thing really quick compared to the last time we fought an undead. I know. T-Rex. Oh no! Last time we fought the undead D Rex, remember? I just, uh, I just made yeah, it go like away. Five or oh, six that's right. zombies with it. It literally, it literally just went turn on dead and it ran away. And Gary was like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> I could hear that in his voice this time too. Yeah. I was like, "Oh." Like, let it cough up a few more. <laughs> He's like, yes, I like your undead toy, but I'm getting rid of it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's biting me. I don't want it to bite me no more. <laughs> this is going to be funny. <sighs> Smoke them if you got them. So the mic on this headset is actually better. I, yeah, it sounds fantastic. Cool. It sounds like you're in the yeah. room next to me. It sounds very good. I don't, uh, the hookup didn't quite work, so I had to use my old hookup. And it's every now and then like Gary's in my left ear, but then every now and then it's like everybody's in both ears. It's just weird. That's kind of neat. You probably just have some setting wrong. Yeah. Like you're both ears. I don't know. I'm in stereo. Now you're in the left ear. Because like, oh. I'm sultry. <laughs> it's getting, I'm a sultry. Like messed up stereo. It's like people are Baritone. Alrighty. Gary. <laughs> Gary. I, I meant in game because the ritual takes like 11 minutes. <laughs> 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 well, He's like, I sure. Jason, I saw Jason see it, BRB, so I was like, oh. That was funny. Oh, Sorry, I'm I'm all, we're all laughing. I like, Gary just left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad nothing happened while I was gone. <laughs> so I had 10 more minutes? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so the ritual identify. What are, we, what are you trying to do with that? Oh, the scepter. He'll grab the scepter and do this chanting and kind of okay. shake it like a rattle. And- yeah. Uh, yeah, Tap it on the ground a few times. Okay. Yeah. You do the Indian stomp around it, and you, you do. You <laughs> uncover uh, it has a distinct purpose. Let me, uh, let me find the text for it. It kills you as as zombie you Tyrannosaurus Rexes with one. <laughs> it has one charge. This scepter <laughs> is a scepter uh, of goblin you, disappearance it uh it has the sole purpose of destroying a construct named after the queen who lies before you napaka 
Oh, this gets rid of some kind of device called a napkin. <laughs> a terrible construct named after an apocalypse. Hmm. Oh, then that could be useful. We should hold on to that. Yes, I will. Good idea. Do you? As I take it, it from him. <laughs> well, no one's picked it up yet. I don't think. Oh, oh he has to uh, pick it up to, yeah, to, to identify it. Doesn't he? Step to identify. Okay. Everyone in the room, make a Constitution save. Then. Deceptor. Okay. I refuse. <laughs> Why are you picking <laughs> things up? Then you auto fail. <laughs> Con save. I, I, oh my god, I will do my constitution save. <laughs> if I fail it, you guys are all screwed. okay. Um, and everybody gets plus three in the whoop. room who's near me, okay. Yeah, the DC is 25. 18, so, Bob, you're the only one. <laughs> Who fails? Uh, everyone mm. else takes, or Bob, you take 57 necrotic. Nice. Okay. Um, and the others take half. No. I don't want to. <laughs> Tabaxel doesn't. Jerk. Oh, no, I, I backed the hell out of that room. You guys are crazy in there. <laughs> well, you wouldn't have yeah. taken any damage anyway if you passed your save. That's a good All thing. All right, so 57. Magical, so oh, right. the right. I can just click you. on my character and do it. My aura yeah, gives resistance to damage from spells. Minus so. 57. There we go. Ow! That hurt. Yeah, now, Baloo, you made, so you only take half. Yeah, 57. That's still a lot. And my aura protects you from damage from spells. Yeah, so when you lift it up, it's almost as if whoosh, it, like, sunk in Indiana Jones, though. What's the aura? You you said the aura protects me from damage. Yep. By oh, how much? I get resistance, so then I get a quarter? It's in chat. <laughs> resistance to spells. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. I was I was doing math. Uh, All right, so I can get so I go back to 102. So 57 would be 30. What? No. 28. Right? 28. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what you're saying in the third. Well, 28 is close to 30. I was rounding up. <laughs> How nice of you. You take 90-ish points of damage. All right, <laughs> so 206. I think you take 14 by my mind, in my head. Hey, I was doing that new math where you have to round up first and then round down. Mm. Is that Common Core? Is that how you? How you yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, geez. Um, so, but it seems like a one-time effect. So, Bob, you have the Napaka staff or uh, scepter, and napkin. Got it. <laughs> the napkin staff uh, scepter. Uh, what mm -hmm. about the necklace? I will pick that up. I am out of here. <laughs> Nimbus <laughs> is like running out of the room. Okay. You guys are hey, insane. Nice. Yeah, I told I'm you. fearless, not stupid. We just had something goddamn spray out of that. Yeah, uh, whatever. Hold it up. And it, it is a necklace that has. Uh, it looks like some of the beads on the necklace might. There might have been more beads, but there's eight left. Yeah. Who wants the necklace with the fire in it? Looks like you pull them off and throw them. Hmm. I don't have enough hands. I got my sword, my shield. Did you identify the necklace too? No, I've just done the ritual so far for the rug. Gotcha. Uh, I think Snarn might want this. I will Can take it if you bring it out of the room and hold it for 15 minutes. <laughs> if I hold it for 15 minutes, it'll be attuned to me. <laughs> would you like me to identify it? Sure. I will hold it as you identify it. Okay. Somebody roll a d20 for a random encounter. Nice. <laughs> Freaking rituals take forever. <sighs> I'm good at it. Dang it. I was okay. hoping for a 20. You're good. Aw. <laughs> Can I reroll till I get a 20? No. All right. 
So Baloo and Shish Kebab will hold the necklace like <laughs> like when you put your hands on a baseball bat to figure out who goes. Okay. <laughs> okay, the book says blah, blah, blah. It can, works on the ritual till finally. Boom. Let me guess. Necklace of fireballs. Necklace of fireballs. Wait. I think it's a necklace of fireballs. <laughs> So, uh, who nice. wants a neck? Who wants a necklace to throw fireballs? I could, but it kind of takes uh, my hands up. It's well, to be nice. fair, you, you're going to be in the middle of combat. So you're probably not going to be throwing things. Yeah, you know who I would really would like hand. to do this? I think p- perhaps Leon would like this to be able to do an AOE damage. Yeah, or Snark could save his spells. Well, well Snark could yeah, save his spells. I don't want it. You can throw 60 feet away on this one. Third level fireball, DC 15. Oh, damn. I mean, I could use it. Um, that would help me throw. I mean, I could do some serious damage other than flame strike and not use my spells. My spells are. That's what I'm thinking. Did we're. Hey, Baloo. Yes. Add a character real quick. Sure. Could you have done prayer of healing while we did that 10 minute ritual? Absolutely, I could. That sounds like a great idea. That sounds like a fantastic idea. <laughs> <laughs> what a great idea. I wish I thought of that. Can you add sneak attack damage to a fireball? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Everybody gets 19 back. Oh, thank goodness. That was damaged. 19. Oh. Damn. Right. That didn't work. So who dons the necklace? Uh, I will. Okay. When you don the necklace, all the diamonds explode. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to do my lay on hands. Oh, wait. Never mind. That wait, explode. what just happened? Uh, with all the beats are exploding. Drew, you hear a huge I bet that's explosion why you drew Bob on fire. Nice. And. Okay. Well, Let's the good news is eight. Bob's next to me. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> we're taking half damage no matter what. Yeah, do you remember? Tired. I don't know. We could save on the dexterity save. <laughs> How do I dexterity save off of my neck? So, <laughs> okay. I'm going to do snar to. Gary Gygax, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone must make a. Yeah. Small J, blah, blah, blah. Crypto tapes. Identify spell didn't notice that. Identify spell does not detect curses. Nope. Excellent. Everyone make a dexterity save, please. <sighs> the real question a, is, is 14. <laughs> who who are Even the people in my room? <laughs> yes. Go for Holy orders. crap. Everyone. <sighs> who Would evasion work on this? <laughs> yes. Yep. Anytime you make a dex save, evasion works. Oh, nice. Oh, no, it should be 15. Sorry, it should be 15. Oh, damn it. DC is 15. Just like this. I am sad. You take. I kind of want to use my advantage now. <laughs> I'm gonna, before he says what the damage, oh, he already did the damage. On a fail, you take 57. The, Shit! The wearer of the necklace auto fails. So, Blue, you take 57 points of damage. Yeah, but I'm in his aura, so. So that's t- 28. <laughs> we already did that, man. <laughs> no, I think it's 30. 62. Blue, you, it's just like, it like rips into the skin around your neck, and it just. Well, that was unpleasant. 
<laughs> oh, it smells like burnt elephant. Gosh. Oh, Get out that's here. horrible. That is horrible. Actually, actually, that smells kind of good. This who's barbecuing things. Oh, <laughs> you smell your <laughs> cannibal. Cannibal yeah. elephant, man. It smells cantaloupe? like someone lighting their like heart on fire. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I blow out some smoke. Oh, that hurt. Did saving take half damage or mess half. up? Yeah, you take half damage on a fail. On a, on a success, I'm sorry. So half was what? 24? If you're within... No, no else is within 10 feet of... So 56 would be what? 25? 28. 28. 30. Or 30 if you... <laughs> Whichever you pick. 28 or 30. <sighs> okay. No more death and destruction in this room. Aw, I want more things to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll have your chance. It gets harder. That's just plain stupid mean. It is. I think we need to either take a rest or get some healing or something. Well, how down are you? I'm the highest out of everybody. <laughs> what are you I mean, we got about, We got our, our forerunner, Tabaxel. <laughs> He's still putting the ashes or putting the scents. Yeah. You guys just woke okay. up. Though, so How is Tabaxel taking so much damage? He, he has evasion. Failed my decks. You still take half. You take evasion. You have evasion. Are you sure? Yes. Evasion okay. is if you fail, you take if you if you fail, you yeah. take half. If yeah. you uh, succeed, you take nothing. Yeah. I read through it real quick and I was like, ah, oh, shit. All we right. can still do a short rest, but I, I and I can do channel divinity for fifty points, and I will give Tabaxel. So what's your max hit points? 79. And what's your, what are your, how much hit points you have right now? Uh, that's your minus second, 28. That's your second. So you're 79 minus 28. I give, yes, it will be my second. I'm at 51. So I will give you, because you lost, just lost 28, right? So I'll give you a 28 yep. back. So okay. 28, so that leaves me with 22 left. I will give me 22. Because I am hurting. It's your last one for the day. And I'm down well, 40 points. Well, a short rest. Oh, short rest. Yeah. I'm only down about 39 hit points. <laughs> so based on the fact this is the first room we've been in, <laughs> and we've uh, <laughs> been on fire, fought a T-Rex, <laughs> I would say we should tread carefully. Yeah, on we've, we've been up for like an hour. <laughs> right. <laughs> I told you we should have taken the main stairs. That's a valid. <laughs> it wasn't matter if we took the main stairs or not. We'd be in this room eventually. I bet All that right. plaque would have said something. Avoid <laughs> sharp teeth. <laughs> <laughs> if we go out there, it's just beware of the Jabberwocky or something like that. <laughs> it's going to be like, oh, you son of a bitch. Don't put necklaces on. Yeah, beware <laughs> of the I'd orbs like of fire. I'd like I'd like to turn around and look at the painting of Bob on fire. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> She's like, damn, uh, those so guys funny. are good. <laughs> All right, let's go out <laughs> these doors. I assumed that would happen. I don't know why. But... <laughs> I thought it was one Bob. of the eyes. I was thinking one of the eyes struck me in the last fight, and I couldn't remember. I like, oh. <laughs> See, I thought. If there was like a beaded necklace on Bob's neck when the when he was drilling, he just started doing red red balls on his neck. <laughs> um, is this just, <laughs> or yeah. should I roll an investigation? <laughs> yeah, no. I, I, yeah, so just the, open it. The what he, appears to be a large stone door looms at this end of the hallway, but bears no handles or hinges. Has no bears. <clears throat> Does anybody have a reduced spell? <laughs> Anyone? If everyone steps back, I will look at it. But I'm okay. Away from it. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's fair. Yeah. Thank you. 
You you smell. Okay, go ahead and go up. What the rock is cooking? <laughs> Make an investigation check, please. You smell burnt elephant. Mm-hmm. Yes. So you get uh, it's like pork rind. And <laughs> also rotting flesh. Free to foul me. stench. And you've Two great tastes that are great death together. Ghoul or ghast or some sort of nasty creature. Okay, there's some dead stuff on the other side of the door. Did I notice it was trapped or anything? Or no. Or it's just, I find that way to it's open just it? a huge heavy slab. Um, All right. It weighs several hundred pounds. Okay, and no markings or anything. None. Uh, this door can't be opened by anyone ever from this side. You sure? Golly, give it a try. That's impossible. Give it a try. Uh, no, that's impossible. Who, me? What's yeah. impossible? You, no one can to... move this door. Can't open it. Can't be done. Can I push it, like, strength-wise? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> can have a better tone than that, I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, what am I rolling? <laughs> uh, all time. What are you trying to do? I'm lift trying to see door. if I can lift the door. <laughs> Lift it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, make a strength check. <laughs> Doesn't Why do you make those funny noises? I don't I was pumping up. All right, <laughs> Mr. Tabaxel, I was wrong. I can't move. I told you, I mean it's it's sealed from this end. You can't can't do it. Listen. I'm a yeah. goblin who killed a beholder. I think I can I know. do it. I'm just saying. I know, I saw it. If anyone could do it, it would be you, but I'm I'm just saying it just it's not I appreciate it. So, Maybe we should go back to the other floor and come down the other you stairs. You can tell that it does slide up, but uh, it's like like basically solid metal. It's... Well, do we want a couple of us to try to do something? Is there anything, uh, um, Mr. Tabaxa, was there anything on it, like some words, like saying magical words, like open or move? No, I, I certainly Or says me. <laughs> says me, yes. Oh. <laughs> says me. Maybe you're in the Loxodon. I can try and lift it if you want. I mean, I he will says it cannot you. be moved. I assume it cannot be moved. But... I will assist you. I shall lift with my legs. You got it. You don't have it. I, I count as one size bigger, so that's what for lifting. Strength? My strength is 19. And, uh... and I count as one size bigger for when I lift things. What is your strength? 23. Okay. So you push and it's like hard. It's like it's hard to like get a grip. There's there's nowhere to get a finger hold but you push your hands Ooh. against it and Baloo, you get enough of a push for Nimbus to get his fingers beneath it. It comes off the floor and Nimbus just straight cleans and jerks it up into the ceiling. I heard he can jerk it really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you finish him off with your trunk, though. And uh, it, click, it clicks oh. into place. Wow. We did it! That door was yes. so heavy. I think your feet actually sunk in the, in the stone slab below you. Wow. And then the ghouls are released. What? <laughs> 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 the girls? The girls are released? <laughs> Sweet. Bring it on, ladies! Ghouls gone wild. <laughs> um, they're all stacked on top. We'll see. Release the ghouls! Release the ghouls. Mr. Tabaxo, we made a terrible mistake. We never should have opened this thing. Oh, shit. Perhaps we oh, should sorry. have a short When rest. I said it couldn't be open, I, what I meant was it shouldn't be? I don't know. <laughs> I still have trouble with comments sometimes. You know, <laughs> if we think about it, you know, if we had gone the other way, we would have had to probably fight these things before we came well, in. We the, talked about uh, having a short rest. Did we short rest before we did this? No. No. <laughs> There's no turn on dead. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll draw my weapons. That's a good idea. Yeah. Mortal Kombat. Oh, initiative again. Let's roll initiative. Oh, Jesus, I'm rolling Look, hard. It's, we woke up at 8.30. It's now 9.30, and now we have another combat. 
We're so good at this game. Well, we knew we weren't going to be selling cakes here. I mean, come on now. Oh, that That's makes true. sense. The two lifting the door, I guess, are still kind of like in shock after lifting the door. They're still standing there holding it <laughs> as they start pouring through. Snar's like poking at the statue. Leon's hiding as usual. Snar is nowhere to be found. Leon, you're up first. They're like, uh, Yeah, this is an ideal for my situation. Um, Oh, you should totally run over by the and stand on the uh, the altar, or the the not the altar, the hideous throne. The hideous throne, yeah. So, is there any way I can take an arrow shot between these guys or over uh, the mis- Uh Yeah, yeah, sure. You can shoot the front row over Nimbus, probably. How many are there? I just see two. Oh, sorry. 64. We have all the ghouls. All the single ladies. Uh, okay. Yes. Oh, I don't know how the Beatles felt. <laughs> I'll shoot the one in front of Nimbus. Oh, that's the one where they make the pork rinds. <laughs> you realize that's blue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you hit. 26. All right. I think Gary just called me fat. I don't know. <laughs> too uh, I really... I really don't think I can even get in there to attack. I mean, can I peek around the corner from here enough to throw a dagger? Not from there. Nah, I don't think so. Uh, you could invade Leon's space, throw a dagger. Yeah. <laughs> I'll know. do that. All right, let's throw a dagger. Dagger, dagger, uh, dagger. Uh, guess it'll be... Probably have to be at uh, this one, though. Yeah, all right. And it'll be offhand since I'm not holding that in my main hand. Well, yeah. Clank is just like too tight. So when when you hold it with your other hand, does it feel like somebody else? (laughs) (laughs) I call it a stranger dagger throwing. (laughs) (laughs) All right, and I'll back up. (laughs) And I'll pull out another dagger. I got him everywhere. Then I'm gonna go to the car and get the twelve pack of coke. So I'll be right back. (laughs) Okay. In game. Sorry, guys, I'm leaving. Go into the you cart. Have a car. Go into the cart. <laughs> Bulb. Sorry, it's reading through this spell. Um, I have faith in you guys, and so does the Summer Queen. <laughs> I just lost the spell. Shit. <laughs> um,. What was it? Aid? No. Heroism? You have AIDS? Yeah, heroism. <laughs> uh, second level. I reach down and touch Nimbus and Baloo. And you gain temporary hit points equal to my spell factor, which is three. You gain three hit points every turn. Or three temporary hit points every turn. Nice. Thank you. Do we get three now? Or is yes. it... Okay. So what level so are you I'm casting? At... Level two, so I can cast it on two people. Got it. Okay. So I have 90 hit points right now. Cool. Excellent. You have three temporary. You have an increase in your max plus 10. Yeah, but I'm at full. Right. So I'm at 87. I just got three temporary hit points, so now I'm at mm-hmm. 90. Okay. And, that's and then when I action. take damage, I'll be at another level, and then I'll get another three. That's my action. So. All right. Yes. Oh, really? I don't have a. Took an action for me. Don't we have to make. If they're gas, don't we have to make uh, saving throws? Yeah, they save. 
shit. Because they smell funny. You got this, but if you need to back away, just let me know. I'll move aside. <laughs> yeah. Just tag me in. <laughs> Stench, right. So, Bob. Nope, he's not within five feet. Hold on. Nope. So Nimbus and Baloo. Mm-hmm. Only you two. So he will try to the one in front of Nimbus Claw. Twenty-four. That hits. Six slashing and make a con save, please. You're gonna get paralyzed. Ah, you are not paralyzed. Damn it. <laughs> what was the damage? Six? Six slashing. Alright, cool. All right. Okay, this is what they'll have. Ten slash. I'm going to. Oh. Ow. Can't say it, please. Yeah. So ten with the. Uh, it's seven. It takes seven. seven. So I'm at eighty. Eighty. And that can't say. Mm-hmm. Which I will promptly fail. No, eighty. Yep. All right. This. All right, so we're going to have two more attacks on you, Blue. Step up, mm -hmm. step back. Just like you guys are doing. Claws. Claws. I am a necklace of fireballs. And six. I miss. Miss and miss. And Nimbus. Claws. Claws. 18, 23. Uh, both hit. All right, let's go with the first one. Nine slashing. Roll con save, please. I have a question because I rolled an. Yeah. So is is am I paralyzed because of a disease, poison? Mm -mm. Okay. All right. Fuck. All right. Paralyzed. Uh, orange is paralyzed. <laughs> and the other would have. Okay. So you just take nine additional slashing damage. In the second. Okay. Hit. All right. That is the guest's turn. All right. Guest. You can repeat the saving throw at the end of your turn, Nimbus. It's now your turn. Do anything because I'm paralyzed. So. Well, you make the con at the end of your turn. You make the con save again to see if you snap out of it. Yeah. Okay. Basically, as an action. You okay. Can right. to... Okay. You you snap out of it. You're bleeding and you're confused. And you're doing like the robot, man. What's going on? Snarl's turn. Snarl will jump to here. And fire bolt of this guy. Actually, yeah. He hits. I don't like this place. <laughs> Okay, that's as good. Blue, you're up. I am going to smash him with my smice of my my smice of smating. <laughs> that should do it. Nice. Okay. And then I will cast a. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Spiritual weapon. As a bonus action. All right. All right. So you smite, and I, uh, you smite this guy for 10. Okay. Oh, not that much. He takes uh, 16 total. All right. That's right. Keep down here. And I am now concentrating. Concentrating. 
crumbles to the ground. Uh, Leon. There's um, no flying gauntlet. I'll fire at the one in front of Nimbus. It's, uh, it was previously damaged, right? It was? Hello? I don't think so. Oh, no. Yeah, it was, because he had attacked him with an arrow before. Oh, okay. Yes. And does 15 hit? It does. 29. He is dead. He is the dead. He's the dead. And He's the un undead. Okay. Tobacco and Is Snarn helping us out or no? Yep. He went. Yeah, he firebolted earlier, didn't he? Oh, he did? Okay. All right. I'll do the same thing I did last time. Excuse me, Leon. I else is cramped. I'm like, you can't firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go for uh, this one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you hit him. Too bad he's not next to anybody. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh no! You pierce his ear. <laughs> Damn, wasting daggers. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. All right. Done. Bob. Bob catches Bob. a good look at what's going down the hallway. He's like, oh my gosh, there's so much more. He's going to end the heroism. And he's like, don't worry, little goblin. He's going to cast protection from evil and good on him. So now okay. they have disadvantage to attacking. Okay. You could have, you can walk through them too and attack. Oh, I can. And he's paralyzed, so it'll be easy. So he's going to step, step over to Goblin. I will putting take the shield up. <laughs> and so he'll go ahead and keep the... No, I will take the heroism down and give myself the... the ah, what is it? Production from evil and good. Yeah. Gotcha. I'll That's cast that on myself. All right, so disadvantage against you. Yeah. And that's my turn. Well, I've lost their order. Oh, they were next, actually. So, <clears throat> the shield I like to use. Oh, there it is. Yeah, if you delete one. Pro tip. <laughs> they all delete. <laughs> they, you delete the wrong you tokens. Remove them from the turn order. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. Yeah, not I'll good. have to remember that. Thank you for yeah. that tip. Yeah. <sighs> do, do, do. Okay. Guests. Uh, attacks Bob. This one's going to run up and attack Nimbus. And this one's going to attack Blue and back. But the top two are going to attack Bob first, though. Uh, first one's going to try to bite you. Hungry for flesh. No. 12. Not on the first date. <laughs> Claw. Second one. Just like trying to get by. Disadvantage. Misses. Uh, I just see him kind of like biting at the as, at the shield. Just, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I imagine like uh, <laughs> the walking dead, like when the they're in the prison it's just like ugh, they're just like crawling all over each other trying to get at you um, so this one's going to be Nimbus Claws that misses 15 alright Blue Claws 15 misses misses yeah they're just scrambling clank 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 yeah, they're getting desperate now uh, Nimbus you're up you feel better Nimbus, really realizing he was paralyzed, gets pissed off, looks at the one in front of Lou and says, You son of a motherless goat! <laughs> How did you know? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that misses. 
Yeah, that bang. misses. It clips the ceiling. Uh, the second <laughs> one hits. All right. And uh, for my bonus action, I'm going to um, use a key point and do Fury of Blows. Okay. I heard it does about to you. <laughs> Did he learn that from Jenna James? I, so that's 18. <laughs> I'm assuming the 10 doesn't hit. No, D, uh, AC is 13. So. All right, so 18. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> you learned that from Jenna Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> an and one. I'll stay where I am. Okay. That, that is an old porn reference, a very old porn <laughs> reference. Not that I'm an expert. Just, just putting it out there. Well, Gary uh, and I are old, so we know that. <laughs> uh, Snarn. That was pre internet porn. <laughs> you will firebolt. That's all he's going to do. It's nice. Okay. All right. The guy in front of Blue looks rough now. Uh, Blue, you're up. All right, I swing. Good shot, Cabold. With my spiritual weapon. Yeah, in front of you, or? Um, no, nah, we'll hit the spiritual weapon guy. We'll go against this guy. Okay. And then you the do. mace will go at the guy in front of me. Got it. <laughs> oh, crit miss. Sorry. Yep. Oh, no. Leon. That is no good. Okay. Um, I shoot the one in front of Blue. This guy here? Yep. Was first it previously damaged? Hit. Sorry. Yeah, first arrow kills him. Oh, then um, the one in front of that one. With the second. This guy here? Okay. So 10 to that guy, and that's it. All right. You Unless he was damaged, but I doubt it. He was. And 14 total. Okay. Yeah, so he, the guy in front of him drops, and you're like, ooh, another target. Oh, he's... Okay, cool. Like, how convenient. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Uh, it's a Vaxel. Okay. Do you have daggers left? I'll run slide over. Yeah, yeah, I got quite a few. Okay, I'll slide over here and I'll hit. Uh, uh, probably this guy. So I don't have to have anyone. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the one. All right. Oh, okay. Some of them. No. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna start, start start throwing these things with my right hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that doesn't it matter. It's just a damage thing, anyway. I was throwing left handed just to make it yeah. supporting. <laughs> uh, Jesus. If I throw it to right handed, I, it, they die too quickly. <laughs> yeah. uh, boom. All right. Bob. Bob. Um, Bob's like, <laughs> he's about to strike. You know, he's like, you know. For a second, it doesn't smell like burnt loxodon. And he goes, Mac. Mm -hmm. Let's do yeah. that. And let's do a smite. Yeah, in front. Yeah, you smoke him. Who said that was a bad smell? <laughs> <laughs> nice. And you step forward. And smack. Next hit. Mm -hmm. Jeez, we're rolling good tonight. If you mean by not rolling good tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's lit up. And that's my turn. All right. So both the gas will try to attack you. Mm -hmm. 
Miss and miss. Never snow. You sure I only see one attack. Um, two. It just, I see that in chat. I don't know okay. why that came up on your side. Nimbus is going to step up and uh, go after the one in front of Baloo. Okay. 30 hits. <laughs> so that's 29. So, Bouncing back. Well, now you're just showing off. So yeah, so the first one kills him. You crush his, you knock the you knock his head off of his uh, his body. Uh, the second one, I'm assuming you can you can apply it to the. Yeah, that's fine. You step up, and uh, you dent his skull in, and he's still up. And then he's Nimbus is just going to do a, a quick like martial arts uh, kind of like jump kick to the guy's face. Okay, you hit and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, goddamn, freaking dumb dead things paralyze me. Uh, he uh, he had eight hit points left. So <laughs> that's, that's perfect. Nimbus <laughs> then touches himself. Whoa, and heals himself for thirty points. Okay. You don't have to describe how that happened. <laughs> you don't have to do that, Nimbus. Come on. Touches his hand. <laughs> Gently. Bob so sees him gently. sees him drop and then he's like pulls back for a second with his horrible look on his face. Bends over. He's like Ugh. looks over at the goblin, goes It's like, is that who is where is that? Ugh. <laughs> That's not me. Yeah, God, would it give for fresh running water? <laughs> <laughs> and he heads back to the room and just plops a squat right on the edge with his feet hanging down. Don't we have an alchemy jug that can give us fresh burning water? We do. Let's take five. There you go. <laughs> I'd like Shower. to take an hour. Yeah, you take an hour if you want to take a short rest. Yeah. Roll, 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 somebody roll a D3 yeah. if that's what you intend to do. Not Dang it. it. <laughs> <laughs> he, want, he wants the XP. Um, it's sort of obligatory at this point. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, no, Tommy Guardians. You, uh, you're able to take a short rest. All right, hit point or hit die. Think. I too will hit die. Okay. Mister Tabaxa, yes. are you able to tell where these things came from? Uh, probably down the hall. I don't know. I'm just saying. That's more oh. like it. All right, so let's see here. Oh, I you may mean, not you only try to find these rooms one. on the sides? 9, uh, 16. Do you do any spell or anything before I use my last hit daddy heal up? I can do a spell if you want. Yeah, it's up to you. Okay. I, you want to save the spell slot? Yeah, I'm going to save it. So okay. I'll just use the last hit daddy. Boom. Perfect. So that was four. And that got me back. Uh, you made me lose my track. 9, 16, 27. 30. No, I can only have 102, so that's wrong. That was uh, temporary hit points went away, but you still have the... Yeah, the yeah the plus ten max. Yeah, the eight spell lasts for like eight hours, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, that was just the um those temporary hit points I didn't have very long. Yeah, they were like, hey, here's three. Oh, look, you did ten. <laughs> Nimbus was getting. And then you took it away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Nimbus was getting annihilated. So, yeah. thank you. I appreciate that. Do we see these little rooms off to the side? Gary is not at they, his desk. They smell oh. awful. <laughs> like, I'm not looking in there. There's 10,000 pieces of gold in each one. <laughs> Yay. You got this. I, okay. Gary, that was in-game again. We took a short rest in-game. 
<laughs> well, I had to pee. Uh, so let's do this. I also want to pick up my daggers. Excellent. Okay. We've got about 30 minutes left. Um, you guys want to go? Um, we're going to look in these little side rooms. Bob is not. They are wretched. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that's where the gas were. So he's like, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's there's nothing in there but the filth and okay. stench. We take uh, your word for it, literally. I didn't do the stench rolls. My bad. That's on me. Uh, no big deal. It's okay. Yeah. You guys can handle that. Okay. No problem. Um, okay. So, Bob, you see down the uh, passageway. Um. Oh. What do you see? Let me see. Oh, say, can you see? Next page, please. Uh, After 10 feet, this dusty corridor becomes a staircase that descends 15 feet to a lower tunnel. Resting on the floor at the bottom of the staircase is an old treasure chest with a rusty built-in lock. Just beyond the chest, the tunnel opens up into a huge, dark chamber. Bob, what are you doing, Bob? There's an empty room down here. <laughs> okay, but we should be letting Mr. Zvaxel check it. He's fine. Remember the He's giant there. T-Rex and you causing all of that? That was in <laughs> y'all's room. My room was fine. A Your little hot. Blew up. Do you remember the necklace, Bob? A little hot. I didn't touch the necklace. <laughs> Just saying. I locked it on. I put it on. We both touched the necklace. You said it was fine. And it was a necklace of fireballs. And oh boy, was it. <laughs> it, it set my it balls ne- on fire. <laughs> a necklace Whoa. of self-immolation. <laughs> so what's down there, Bob? Uh, the treasure box in a room. I mean, just a box. In a room. And he, like, taps it with his sword. He's like... Treasure chest. Not an illusion. Yep. Do you want Mr. Tabaxi to open that? Sure, he'll try and just, like, lift it up gently if it lifts easy. The treasure chest? Yes. Yeah, it seems to be, like, attached or heavy. <laughs> Not one of those two. <laughs> attached. You can't. It's a treasure, the treasure chest is attached to something. Can't to Come us. look at it. It's like, here's the sofa. And he's going to, he'll step over it. Boop. Okay. Nothing happens. Uh, you see a huge room behind you. Uh, blue and Bob, you fall through a trap. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh, uh, no, I run down the stairs. Okay. <laughs> you just see Bob disappear behind the treasure chest. Whoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> blue, the, the floor beneath Bob sort of. Let me. Does it sploosh? It does. Oops. Not what I meant. Oh, you're serious? I thought you were joking. That's not what I meant. Mm. Nah. No. I'm Damn it. serious. Huh. Okay. Bob, you plummet into a pit of acid. Um, well, that's not good. Actually, make a... You, you begin to plummet. The floor breaks beneath you. You have a chance to try to grab yeah. the edge. Make a... Uh, a Con save? Charisma dex, save? <laughs> a deck save <laughs> with disadvantage. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Let those high rolls keep going. Yikes. <laughs> okay. You fall in... To a pit of acid. Uh, 
it is ten feet deep, and the walls are like you notice as your as your thick glass. It's like green thick glass, like old Coke bottles or something, and um, it's super slick. And you splash down into the acid, and you take. Oh, some do I? Am I able to walk down the floor? No, I can walk up. Never mind. Uh, okay. Beginning of yeah. Oh, those are those melted. <laughs> <laughs> Take. Okay. Oops. Oh, wrong roller. Row, row. 63 points of acid damage. Oh, she's. You hear a girlish scream. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's five feet deep and it's like, like up to your neck. I mean, it's like. That was perfect. Son of a bitch. When you did that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a big room. <laughs> Meaty. <laughs> and the... Oh, God. I'm actually crying a little. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and the, uh, the walls are slick, so they're not like regular stone walls. <laughs> Well, Nimbus runs can. down with the. <laughs> I got um, the back of the rope. Yeah, I've got one. Well, no, you have the special rope. All right, let's roll yeah. initiative. <laughs> How about we just go try to pull him out instead of looking for a fucking rope? <laughs> well, that's the whole point to pull him out. Can you, can you reach down there? I don't know. Maybe. Nope, you can't move on until it's your turn, Leon. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry about that. No, you're good. Um, Nimbus, you're first. Nimbus is going to run down, and can I walk on the wall over here? To the left side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, over, okay. like, like over the chest and over blue. Yeah, so he's running straight past sure, sure. that, and then yeah, yeah. Um, he's running on the wall, so he it's, doesn't it's go nothing. into the acid pit. Absolutely. Uh, and then he's going to reach down to grab um, Bob and pull him out. All right, so Bob is 10 feet down. Oh, shit. And basically 15 feet down. The surface of the lot of the acid is fifth is ten feet down, and all right, I have fifty feet of rope. Can I throw him a rope down? Yeah, you can do that as an action. Make a dex make a uh, dexterity or acrobatics, whichever. Okay. Did did the not say get the rope? <laughs> okay. You so wanted to get the special rope. <laughs> I'm just using a rope. Well, it was it's anybody. Right in I don't. The face. And then the rope hits him. <laughs> uh, Leon. Um, just going to move. And that's all I can do. Okay. Back of the pack. Bob. Bob tries to walk up the walls. Okay. And grab at, the rope. At the beginning of your turn, you take the acid in. Okay. Starting your turn there. Is that the 63 you already rolled? Uh, we'll roll again. <laughs> 45. Much better. So I take another 45? Or the, that's the second 63 time plus 45 now. 63 okay. on your, when you fill in, and then at the start of your turn, you take the 45. Okay. And I didn't have another turn in between them? Now it's your turn. So now you can move oh, okay. or try to walk up the wall. 
walk up the wall. There's a, there's a perfectly good rope there. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what are you using to walk up the wall? The special, the spirits, boats. special ability. The spirits ability that I have. Nang nangs. Ah, okay. Yes. Thank you. Um, so I just walk up. I don't Bob comes out need of the wall. Climb he anything. comes out of the ass and he's like parts of him like dripping off. He's <laughs> bleeding terribly. Walks up the wall. When he gets to the top. I... It's my fault. Bad. It's my fault. I was asking for a bath. It's my fault. <laughs> um, I walked back up to the stairs since it was a. I grab a. I grab him by the hand and pull him out. Yeah. The rest of the way. Okay. Pull him out. And I chest. heal him. And I say a prayer to. Uh, <laughs> to Torm. Uh, and heal him for coming. twenty-one. Twenty-one from Torm, the man with the plan. <laughs> See, Bob, we all have skills. Not to back to the skill. Dick traps. <laughs> Bob starts chuckling. He's like, <laughs> it still smells like Bert Luxedon. <laughs> <laughs> I push him back in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> he um, does a lay on hands also and does plus 20 to himself. Okay. description necessary blue well it was blue's turn yeah i healed him yeah to back some okay he's out okay okay then uh let's shoot him. go and shoot. <laughs> uh, so are we going in that room or No, I, don't, I haven't even seen the room. I'm not paying attention. I'm looking at the this room. guy and trying to. Yeah, so look, I pour milk on him. Is, uh, that it, it, you're in the room looking around now that Bob seems to be okay. Blue's patching him up. You see the four marble columns there, and um, twin staircases ascend to an upper gallery where there's a carving in the form of a giant maze, and it's on the north of the wall way up here I relay that back to everyone as a it's a room with two stairwells and four pillars and there's something regarding a maze like <laughs> corn I believe <laughs> and don't forget there's a there's an acid pit uh, in the big room but yes uh, what, what, what really catches your eye what draws your attention the most is an opaque crystal sarcophagus that is constantly changing color. Oh no! Like green, blue, orange. Exactly. That All kind of color. Of the pyramid. <laughs> yes, the changing uh, colors. <laughs> Minotaur murals also adorn the walls on the lower levels. Uh, there are like pictures of cowmen. <laughs> Gentlemen, may I suggest we go find Acerax warnings? Sure. Before so we, we backtrack before we go in here? I'm saying it would probably help. That would make sense. I would agree with that. Although part of me says let's just open this thing, but I will. I'm sure. <laughs> it just doesn't seem like a good idea. All right. Yeah. Obelaka, this is gonna... Obelaka in your head, Tabaxel thinks, yeah, that's a good idea. If we're going to be in here, I think we should have some clue. Right. Okay. You shut up. You are ruining everything for me. <laughs> <laughs> Goblin, watch out for that pit. All right. Nimbus just crawls, walks along the walls. And I see the pit. Hello. <laughs> That's why I walk on walls. Everybody can walk on walls. This is so funny. You could walk on walls someday. Maybe. If you studied. <laughs> what are they studying? Spiders? 
No, you could you could become a monk like me. I could take you back to my temple at the spine of the world, and you could spend the next, you know, fourteen, fifteen years learning. Let's <laughs> go mm-hmm. there. Um. Hey, okay. hey, dark elf. How about how about you lead now? Oh my god! I'm still tingling a little bit. <laughs> That's funny. I'll follow Mr. Tabaxel. That is funny. Okay. I look in the room from here. What do you see? Yeah. You see Stairs. here. What is your name? Are they He's evil stairs? A lot of Camelot. A plaque on the wall, much like you did in the first. Plaque is over there. <sighs> Imagine that. Okay. We'll walk gingerly. Oh, hey, in we're at hides, the bottom. In, in hindsight, perhaps we should have gone through the main stairwell. Mm-hmm. Where are you going? Where's the plaque? It's right here. Okay. Uh, I don't see it. Is it on the actual map? <laughs> no, it's not. I have to pee really bad. Oh, I have to okay. Right back. Okay. Yeah, because all the other ones had like a little plaque on the wall. Yeah, I know. I was, I was looking for it today, but... Tiskabob's going to give himself 10 more hit points because he's hurt. All right. Who wants to read that? Um, since Mr. Maxwell is peeing, I will. <laughs> He's peeing over the balcony. He's like, uh, <sighs> the top part of his butt cheeks are almost touching you. <laughs> Me, put your ass away. All right, I'm reading this thing. Well, are you going to read it? We can't hear you. Who's reading it? Me? You said, I'm going to read this thing, and then said nothing. Right, but I thought that <laughs> God would tell me what it says. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> what the oh. fuck? You can't just read it? <clears throat> sorry, I didn't see it. Now I see it. <laughs> Death to fire, dine or drown. Uh, precious air and falling sand. The army sleeps in silence. The mirror holds twelve. Find the iron scepter's twin. Uh, the maze I have found the iron the scepter. Yes. <laughs> I know that one. Scratch that one out. <laughs> Death to fire. Dine or drown. Precious air and falling sand. The yeah. army sleeps in silence. The mirror holds twelve. Find the iron scepter's twin. We did that. Did we? Well, we yes, have, we, we found we, that scepter that looked like the other scepter. Oh, right. The maze holds the key. Hmm. Oh, look, the maze holds the key. Was there a maze in that room? Yeah, it, there was pictures of a maze and then the cow people, yes. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yes. Smartest thing you said all day. Okay. So, where should we go? Iron Scepter's twin. Uh, Didn't say nothing about the fireballs. Yeah. (laughs) Son of a bitch. (laughs) Well, obviously. That's kind of good, though. That's kind of good, because if it had said something, we would have been very upset. Didn't say anything about the T-Rex that that Bob sent on us. That's true. I looked it up, too. Basically, cannot detect a curse. Well, you can use a spell to detect the curse. There is no detect curse in 5e. Then you cannot detect the curse. <laughs> There's a remove curse. You know, yes. <laughs> I looked at that. All right. So, what I was, Mr. Tabaxa, what do you make of this? Well, can I... Uh, way, banana way bread. at the beginning of this game... He makes banana bread. Banana bread. <laughs> Love banana bread. <laughs> Uh, way way at the beginning of the game like one of our first uh, one of our first sessions I think I took a rubbing of a maze that was on an onyx obelisk mm-hmm. does it match the one that's in that room uh, you have not been in that room okay well let's uh, someone, someone go in that room <laughs> so you have no fucking clue <laughs> yeah someone someone come into that room with me uh, All right, oh, I was. I just told you about the maze, and the maze yeah. seemed like it uh, 
it was shifting almost as if it had no beginning and end and like it was like a trick of the eye like you'd look at it and you'd see a passageway and it would close off you see a clear oh, way through it to the end and then you would right, draw and trace it through I once, saw a play. I once saw a play called The Cube. That's that's what we're doing. This yeah. is I can tell. Mm -hmm. I will so go in with you. Okay. Hello, Mr. T oh, Mr. Blue, you're still here. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Nibis just walks by him on the wall, pats him on the head. What about the chest? Are we going to open the chest? You want to drop into some acid? Feel free. I'm walking on well, a goddamn wall. How does the chest have to do with the acid? I don't understand. It makes don't know. <laughs> to Maxel, open the chest. Hello, he came back. But I'm not your chest monkey. All right, I'll check it. Well, technically, you are a chest monkey. Whoa. Oh. Let's all relax. I'm pretty sure. That's <laughs> yeah, let me let me check this thing out. So see if it's gonna explode when I. It appears to be locked. Okay. Uh, Trapped? Make an investigation check. Okay. Ooh, man, I'm rolling like crap today. Okay. But it is locked? Yes. All right, let's use some tools and try to open it. Okay. Use tools. Tool it, baby. Dex plus. Tool it. Oh, I've already got a thing for it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, when you open it, a. A. Wall, a like a hole in the ceiling above Snarn opens up, and a five foot diameter stone ball crashes down towards him. Oh God! And starts rolling down the the wall, the the stairway. I gotta run. <laughs> what just? I jump across the pit. Uh, run. Boots of jumping. Let's see. Snarn's gonna need a athletics check, <laughs> or get damaged. There's Snarn. Yeah, I would like to take off running if, if I'm allowed to as well. Was there anything in the yeah. chest before you go, Ray? Jesus I, Christ! <laughs> Let me do this. No, we need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I can only do one thing at one, one thing at one. Because the time. chest is gonna <laughs> die if we don't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't want to die. But, uh, yeah. Well, you're expendable. No. The, chest, <laughs> the money inside the chest is not. Yeah. Oh, wait. A... I'm sorry. I got that the wrong. All right, Snarn dodges backwards, pushes Leon back a little bit. And a, a huge stone ball comes crushing towards you, uh, both of you. Uh, so what do you want to do? Do you want to try to jump over the chest and the pit? Um, Talking to Tabaxel and Baloo. Baloo activates his boots of jumping and leaps across the pit. Okay, good. I will jump over the chest. I'm going to jump out over to the pit as far as I can. And when I reach the apex of my jump, I'm just going to click my uh, immovable rod if I don't feel like I'm going to make it. Okay. Make a uh, athletics joke. Sure. I, I reach How out is the immovable try... rod going to do? It's going to hang gonna in the middle of the air. It's falling into the damn acid. That's I'm super smart, actually. Okay, really good. Check. Yes, good thing. That's... <laughs> yeah, because it's hard. You're running down. You jump over a chest, and there's a roof yeah. above you, and it's hard. And, and you, you, you slip on the edge, and you jump, and <laughs> you're holding with your hands like a trapeze artist. The immovable rod. That's like, super, <laughs> super oh, wow. good. That, now I get it. Yes. Okay. Mr. Tabaxa, would you like a rope? Please, Tabaxel, you hear you hear uh, around you like the boulder like crushes and it falls into the acid. Sizzle starts slowly degrading this concrete or like stone ball, but you hear clang, 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 like on the floor here. All right, what, what is like it? Like a it's something small and metal, but you don't see anything, which is strange. Um, I'm probably not very far out. Can I jump back over and... Yeah, yeah. you don't need to make a right. check for that from where you are. Yeah, okay. Okay. I didn't see it. Uh, can I feel around? Yeah, make an investigation. 
Sure. Yeah. Are you, you feel around and it's like you slide something, you feel something push, you push it with your finger and you feel with your hand, you pick it up, it feels like a key. It's absolutely mm. invisible though. It feels like a metal key. Okay. Let me put it uh, in a safe pocket. Okay. Where did you find the key? It's on the floor. It was in the chest. What was in the got chest? Destroyed by the boulder. Cool. All right. Uh, I got to get my immovable rod. <laughs> it's probably not very far, huh? Uh, Let's feel around for you. That's tricky. <laughs> yeah. Um. Damn. Does it look like Baloo could reach it with his trunk if he was standing where I am? Mm -mm. You could try Damn. to jump and then release. You have to swing on it um, and swing no, I've got... swing like a trapeze and then release it as you're on the apex and it'll loop across and I can grab you. Yeah. I can give you a rope. I've got the rope <laughs> of climbing too. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. There's nothing on the ceiling so much, but there there are these columns that reach up to the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, I want to get back off to the... No. Yeah, let me get back yeah. onto the rod. You can tie the rope between the columns. Yeah. I have the, the rope of climbing. And I'll have it attached to each column on the side, like a tight rope. Okay. And then I'll, I'll grab the rod, and I'll inch my way over to... No. That's what the kids are calling it, though. It's grabbing the rod. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I no know. need to roll. Perfect. <laughs> Grab the rod. No, no need to roll? Nope. Okay. Okay. I heard you're very proficient at grabbing rods. Well, you, you have to be, you know? I mean, it's a job requirement. <laughs> I'm just glad that our Indiana Jones got to run over the rock or the giant boulder. <laughs> it was yeah. very fitting. That's right. Hey, Leon, <laughs> feel like jumping over some acid? Um, if we need to go in there, then sh there is at least a sixty-seven percent chance. <laughs> so, uh, can I do an acrobatics check? What's your strength? Oh, twelve. You can make it across the problem, and Snarn makes it too. Wow, Snarn is so dexterous. Yeah, when you're rushing though, it's just it's a different story. So, yeah, cool. Yeah, so you find yourselves in this room. Yeah, that was awful. Okay, now well, actually, that was kind of neat. I want to have traps like this in my home. What happened yeah. to the chest? What was in it? Oh Jesus! Nothing. <laughs> it got crushed. I don't know what was in it. Oh. It went into the acid. You want to go get it? <laughs> That's it? Bob, I don't mean to be rude, but the voice inside your head is... And you're unable to make rational decisions. No. Yeah, Bob now let's here. go kill these motherfuckers! <laughs> 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 Take a step back from Nimbus. I am going to kill some fucking people now today. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Your um, like, I pull up my you first. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me check my map rubbing and see if it if it does resemble this at all. Oh, yeah. Your map. Uh, it, mm -hmm. it does in sort of like style, but the, mm -hmm. you look at the map and again you like whenever you blink or you look, it's like off to the side. It just seems like it shifts. All right. Uh, what was the clue again about there. the Minotaur? No minotaur. The map holds the key, or the maze holds the key. And, yes, but uh, we we know there's minotaurs in here. Oh, there wasn't any clue about minotaurs. Yes, there were bull people. <laughs> All right, so so Nimbus, you hear in your head. Hmm. We should be the first one. Run up to the maze. We should be the first to touch it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this sounds amazing. Uh, Nimbus is going <laughs> to run up. 
That's not good. Name is wait. Hey, uh, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> and, uh, he's going to. Um, you know what? I'm gonna roll. <laughs> One and a two, he'll touch it. A three and a four, he won't. He goes to touch it, and he he is able to control himself. Okay. Yeah. So you you look back at the others, and they're like. And you hear in your head, you can't let them be first. I, your, we're all going to go is yours. You it just will be it. mine. Yes, I agree. But it will be all of us. I need them there with me. If they're not there, what good is glory if they're to worship? Nimbus, who are you talking to? I, I can't hear you, Goblin. What is the voice saying? in his head. Where have you been? Don't you have a voice in your head now? There is no there is no glory without people to see the glory. There's no glory if there's no glory. Take it, touch it. You be the first. What does that mean? Here he comes immediately. Glory. He wants to touch it. I see him. Look at the drought. Jesus Christ. Tabaxel, take my hand and let's touch together. This sounds horrible. I gotta say, I don't want to touch anything right now. Just Take please Bob. hold my hand and touch the he's, maze. He's kind of standing any, outside wait. the rail here, and he's going to take a perception. <laughs> he's going to try and take a perception or look for anything. Okay, out what, of the, are you, what are you looking for? Um, any traps or any levers or something freaky okay. that's not right around right here. Go make and then I'll walk over to the sarcophagus. Advantage there. 13. Yeah, nothing. Uh, so Blue walks over to the sarcophagus and starts examining. Please don't touch anything, Blue. He rubs his hand up and down the side of the sarcophagus. Oh, Whoa. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I read ahead. Okay, can I make Nothing a? Happens. Can I see if there's any keyholes? Blue, on this you notice that thing? it changes color. It repeats through a cycle: blue, gold. Purple, green, red, black. Blue, gold, Blue, purple, gold, green, purple, red, black. green, red, black. Over and over and over and over. I start singing a little tune. Blue, gold, purple, green, black. Do, 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 do. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah. Is there any colors up there in the maze? What, what does Ijin have to say? Fuck you, stupid turtle. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I don't care what they plan. We should do whatever we want. Sounds good to me. Fuck those guys. I'm going home. <laughs> yeah. Old Cartman. Screw you guys. I, so I mentioned the pattern to everybody that the it is rotating in those color in that color pattern mm -hmm. over and over again, which could mean something. Yes. What what was the color pattern again? I just, I'm writing it down. It was uh, blue, green, something, purple, gold, or something. <laughs> I'm not listening to that at all. <laughs> I'm listening to God. <laughs> Or you can listen to me because I'm the one staring at the damn thing. Yeah, Blue tells you that. That's what he said. God. <laughs> That's right. How'd you, know? <laughs> How'd you recognize me without my sandals? See? Where'd he go? It was blue, gold, green, gold, purple, something I forgot. Red, fuchsia, indigo. We got it. Yeah, yeah. Chartreuse. <laughs> I have lost it. Let me see. There it is. It goes blue, gold, purple, okay. green, red, black. Purple. Blue, gold, purple, green, red, black. Red. Totally forgot about red and black. Okay. Put a hundred on blue. 
<laughs> always bet on black, Baloo. <laughs> oh, okay. Always bet on black. That's racist. All right, to back to, are we? Do you want to touch this map? No, 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 no. I want to look at it and see if there's a place to put a key. <laughs> no reason. Obalaka says, whatever you do, don't touch the maze. Right. Also, I'm being advised that it's a bad idea to touch the maze. No, it's a good idea. We no, we touch the so. maze, it will 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 be the first to. If you touch the maze, it will probably teleport you into a maze. Ubalaka, uh, why is it? Why do you not want to touch the maze, Ubalaka? Bob, you hear in your voice. There could be treasure in that maze. If we get there first, we won't have to share. Bob walks around the rail and. Leaps over the rail. I keep forgetting. I can't see this little tiny freaking <laughs> blue dot. Where is my freaking turn? I, there it is. <laughs> Nibis is going crazy because he sees Bob going for it. And he's just like. <laughs> yes. He's going to take a close look, like nose up to the fabric almost. And then. Don't you touch I pick that, up, Bob. Don't I you run over. I pick without. up Snarn and I throw and him like, into the maze. Guys, I don't see anything. <laughs> and then his hand like touches. Like, huh. Bob vanishes. Oh. You mother! <laughs> cool. Nimbus <laughs> runs in and touches the ma map. <laughs> Nothing happens to Nimbus. <laughs> <laughs> the voice in his head is going crazy. And, uh, we'll, we'll, I, I think it's a good time to stop tonight. Next time, we'll, uh, we'll start with rolling initiative. And it will be very interesting. Who See, no, knew that aren't was you glad happen? Nimbus that you didn't touch that? <laughs> that? I said, Nimbus, aren't you glad you didn't touch that? Well, no, that's why I was rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Two, he'll touch going. it. Three and a four, he's gonna, he'll... Yeah, he's going to have to fight a Minotaur in there. Bob's you down 50% so? 50, 50 so. Yeah, that's my fear, is he's down <laughs> hit points. Can't he heal himself? Fuck. Mm. No, oh. I use thirty out of forty of my lay on hands, and I haven't oh. learned any of my healing spells. Well, maybe I'll oh. learn to share now. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Or we'll just be saying hello to uh, Hickleby. To be fair, he's a friend, hey, but us. he isn't as good a friend as you guys. <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah, Bob's right? rather Bob's rather new to the party. Ouch! True. Yeah. How soon you forget those aid spells? Yep. Hey, I've got a beat of four. Oh, no, so I, I, I totally, I totally, yeah. am, I will try to get the guy back, but overall, I, I will shed a tear and move on. A lot easier. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Especially after the recent way he's been acting. Yep. Not his fault. Well, well part I've... of it is like he he calls you all the the by your races because. Pure bloods, they consider themselves better than everybody else. So that's why. Exactly. Like. Yeah. So. That's no, perfect, too. I'm a pure blood except, drow. Except I keep forgetting sometimes and be like, hey, Tabaxel, I'm like, shit. <laughs> hey, drow, get over here. Well, that means you're starting to like us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's easing in. At least he's saying drow and not blackie. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Stop the recording, oh. please. That <laughs> was. <laughs> <laughs> That was <laughs> that was mine and Nimbus's special word for word for Tabaxel. So <laughs> I can't believe you ruined it now. Uh, yeah. Plus, uh, you know, it's your, you know, he's, you know, Nang Nang is selfish, and that's yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's thinks for himself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, okay. Are we good for next week? I am. Uh, yep. 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 Cool. It's gonna be a far off, but on this the week of December, I think it's the fifth. I'm not gonna be here. I'll be in Michigan. Although I may be able to get on, maybe I can get onto the hotel computer. And uh, <laughs> you're gonna to play, play in a lobby? Sure, why not? <laughs> Don't be that guy. Why Don't not? be that guy. <laughs> Do it. I will be yep. that guy. So we obviously will not play the 28th. So three weeks from tonight. 
Yes. The tea day. Oh, tur- a turkey day? Yeah. You want to yeah. play on Thanksgiving, man? We'll all be online going, oh, oh <laughs> I can't get another thing. Or driving from relatives' house. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty good. I stay pretty much almost all somewhere. Hey, boys. Well, uh, good times. See you next week. All right. Yep. Later. See you guys. Later. Bye.